In the interest of connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, Roosevelt turned his attention to a narrow strip of land in Colombia, the Isthmus of Panama. In 1903, Roosevelt's Secretary of State John Hay failed in an attempt to negotiate a treaty with Colombia for the land. But U.S. interests were not to be denied. Roosevelt backed a Panamanian revolt and negotiated for the Panama Canal Zone. Work began. Massive locks were designed to raise ships through the mountains and then lower them on the other side. 1.53 million cubic meters of concrete were poured. 70,000 workers recruited and $400 million was spent. A marvelous engineering achievement, the canal was finally completed in 1914, just in time for World War I. 